I'm Beth Ewan with Franchise Times. I'm here at the Restaurant Finance and Development Conference talking with Dennis Monroe. Dennis Hi. is a, a well-known deal maker in the franchise space, an attorney with Monroe Moxness Berg. So Dennis, you just wrote an article for the Restaurant Finance Monitor in which you highlighted some top new best ways to finance a restaurant company. Can you share a couple of those with us? Well, sure, I'd love to, Beth, thank you. Um, I think the first one is one we've, it, there's been lots of talk already at the, at, at, the, at the Franchise Development Conference, and that is IPOs. IPOs because of some change in security laws and, and other types of easing of regulations. It's just plain easier to do IPOs and smaller IPOs, meaning, um, and then I think the number two would be, would be the, uh, the, the, the advent of, um, of EB-5 financing. <clears throat> Explain what that is a bit. Well, EB-5 financing is where you have a foreign investor who wants to get a green card, wants to get admitted into the United States. And if they put in a million dollars and create, depending on the size, either 10 or 20 jobs if, through their investment, then they get a green card after that enterprise has been in existence for three years. Now, the restaurant industry is embracing this, is embracing it both on a national and regional basis. And so it's an easy way to come up with a million dollars. And it's, uh, in many cases, it's loans if you do it through a regional center or straight equity. So that would be my number two. Interesting. Uh, my number three would be private placements. It seems like there's more and more individuals who are interested in, um, in taking part in cash flow investments. And what better industry than the restaurant industry to provide cash flow? And so we're doing more and more private placements where the actual owner of the business will go out and find investors. People that like them or friends, family, and that's how they're raising you know, dollars. I guess the last one would be crowdfunding, which is, hasn't really taken off yet, but it's going to. It could be the most disruptive thing in the restaurant industry since, um, I guess, securitized lending. Interesting. So you really see a future I, in crowdfunding. I do. The only problem is it's limited, to, in most cases, to a million dollars. You need to go through a broker-dealer. But it's still going to be a way that, uh, that, in, that the average person can invest in uh, a growth vehicle. And secondly, it's going to be very, very, you know, very, very friendly to the uh, restaurant operator because they aren't dealing with one private equity group or one sophisticated investor. They're dealing with a lot of little people that are just anxious to get their money back with a return. Nice. Back on your very first point about the IPOs, you said a little bit smaller companies can do that maybe than in the past. What are we talking about in terms of their perhaps enterprise size or the amount of the offering? Well, I think the amount of the offering, we've seen offerings as low as $20 million. Now, this is not an offering that a major uh, investment banking firm like Piper Jaffray would do. This is some of the smaller investment banking firms would do that. And so if a $20 million, you probably have an enterprise value of about $40 million, which means that you have uh, cash flow from that enterprise, probably in the neighborhood of $5 million. We used to look at $10 million as the threshold. So I'd say we're probably at half of that now. Nice. So there's a lot of new right. opportunities. Yeah. Well, thank you. I've been talking with Dennis Monroe, Monroe Moxnesberg, and you can read all of his tips in the next issue of the Restaurant Finance Monitor. I'm Thanks. Beth Ewan with Franchise Times.